What's up, everybody? Your boy Abe is back, and today I have some news, man. Some news. I've finally decided to start my keto diet. But besides today, because one, I'm gonna be trying something on camera that I, I I don't know how it tastes, but I'm a sucker for stuff of its type. And my wife convinced me otherwise. When you have a hungry pregnant lady in the background, and she wants something to eat right after an appointment. And you say, no, I want to wait till I get home. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. I'm telling you, it doesn't work. So she convinced me otherwise. And I wound up not, you know, wound up not starting. I actually might still start today. Just wasn't going to be my first meal of the day anyway. So it's all good. Um, but first, I want to start keto, man. I want to start keto because I want to lose some weight. Like I've said, I put on some extra pounds since... This quarantine thing. I was working out trying to lose some weight before that, but I've I've gained m way more weight than I was losing. But yeah, when keto when keto happened, uh, when Corona happened, I gained way more weight having to sit in the house. To, I don't know. I gained way more weight trying to sit in the house, and after the gyms and stuff closed. It was like, okay, explosion. Mainly one, I'll say definitely, because I, I know how to do this. And I wasn't eating right. I wasn't following the diet. Like I said, I got a pregnant lady, a pregnant lady to look after. Between looking after her and her convincing me to eat, very convincing, convincing me to eat stuff. And then she'd always want my favorite meal. So <laughs> it'd be hard to say yes. But between that and, you know, just not being able to exercise to get any of that weight off or to keep any of it down, it's just been... It's been hard. I mean, I'm pretty sure some of you can relate, but I think losing weight is a lot easier than we make it, like a lot easier than people say it is. Uh, I'm a proponent for dieting and working out. Ain't going to be too much working out. I mean, working out hard because I don't necessarily have that equipment, and I went to Target, and they tried to charge me uh, like, it was like $70 plus tax for a 10-pound dumbbell, and I was like, I'd we not working. I don't got that type of bread to be spending on a dumbbell, <laughs> even though like it's one of the best tools, and I would if I had it. But so anyway, I'm gonna be starting to diet, man, and I'm gonna be keeping you guys informed. Make sure you follow the the links, the Twitter, Instagram. Follow them. I got I gotta get used to that. The Twitter and Instagram right below, on my shoulders. Follow him, man. Catch me on my journey. I'm going to tr start trying to post so much more. It's already some stuff that y'all can just learn about me from what I post anyway. So y'all y'all see that regardless. But yeah, I'm going to start trying to communicate and post a little bit more since I'm trying to get out a video a day. This is not going to be my, my main video today, but I think I'll, I'll put them both out today because I got another, another thing that I want to do. I think I've been piping that up for like the last two videos I made. But... I mean, between this, this keto and the other thing I want to do and playing some Crucible, well, as much of Crucible as I can play, to be honest, I might try to go through all the characters, but I also want to try something on camera. Okay, look at this. This is smoked salmon candy, right? I got the protein and all the rest of the other good stuff. I want to try it mainly because I'm a I'm a salmon person like I said I went shopping for a keto the other day of course this technically isn't keto because it has sugar in it because uh, it's, it's maple candied but I went shopping the other day I grabbed a bunch of stuff that was going to help me on my keto journey I like to keep it simple y'all be seeing that y'all be seeing those videos or at least seeing those posts as of what I eat I keep it really simple because I can cook, but for real, for real, what makes keto hard is that you would generally, unless you just got so much money, you would have to cook every single meal almost that you ate or just like, you know, cooking those pack and fridge portions. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. I got a whole house full of people. You know what I mean? I'm not taking up the refrigerator with just my stuff when everyone has to eat. So it makes it hard. It makes it hard for a family man. It makes it hard for a working man. It makes it hard for like 
people who generally just sit down but I'm here to show y'all it's a little bit easier than you think I probably post a video on like when I officially can and do start like I might not start today because I do want to start by giving y'all the weight you know giving you guys my weight probably giving you guys my figure too I'm not that I'm not camera shy for a real so giving you guys my figure and how much I weigh starting off with that and then taking shuffling y'all throughout my meals you can lose a lot of weight by still sitting down man quarantine don't got to be over it's just you got to push yourself to do and eat better now I do want to work out because you don't want to lose muscle mass as you lose that weight as well so you want to try to keep some of that reverted to your muscles you know what I'm saying I'm not I'm not kicking right now but we we gonna see but besides let's try this man I want to try it I'm a big fan of uh Nova locks I love to eat it on my bagels and stuff and so I'm like I'm, I'm walking past in the grocery store normally I was about to pick up my uh my packet of Nova locks and I saw this I'm like all right it smells it smells like Nova locks but it might I think it's like people say it's jerky but I'm like generally jerky ain't wet it's wet I have a very expressive face but it's actually not nasty this is actually pretty good it has more of a consistency of like chicken I don't know I don't know if I can get my camera to focus on this but when you see it you, you can see it let me see It has more of a chicken like consistency. But I tell you man, it's 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 damn good. Alright. I'm glad this went in my favor because I didn't think it was gonna be like one of those crazy videos with like spit takes and shit. But Alright. This would be interesting to eat, but like I said, technically because it's I believe it has sugars in it. It's actually good for a keto diet, which I'll probably go over sooner or later with you guys on what exactly that is and share what I eat in a specific video, but it ain't bad. I, I'll tell you that much. It's not bad. It's not really, it's not like it's super sugary. It's two grams. Well, per two ounces is two grams of sugar. What? It includes added sugars to two grams. Okay. Which is 4%. That's what I'm saying. 22% protein, 22% protein, 11 grams per two ounces. Which I'm like, for real, for real, it's probably about just two ounces in this bag in general. But... I see I keep eating it. One, because I'm hungry, too. It's delicious. I know I'm talking about a diet, but I got my soda. Just in case it was gross. I'm actually talk to my wife to see if we can get this, uh, if we can get this math right. And whether or not I could eat it. Oh, Keto, you're not supposed to have no sugar because it don't help you get into ketosis yeah I'm, I'm not gonna be able to eat this it's not super sweet but it's, it's sweet enough to where it's like if you can taste the sugar you probably shouldn't have it but yeah all right man that's it just wanted to tell y'all about my diet and i wanted to try this in front of y'all because i thought it'd just be fun to see what it tastes like but that's probably it man i'm gonna i'm gonna let you guys know more 
about when or if when or if I actually start I probably I think I probably will just like if I start in the morning I'll just put it up as a, like an Instagram video on like what I eat at least in the morning which when I was working out was generally like uh, my wife probably like bulletproof coffee but then I'd pour like a protein shake in it but I'll give y'all those details but man for them I'm out you see I remade the border too I, I like it this way I'm all about peace, love, positivity. You know what I mean? Positivity would have been a little bit too long to put, so didn't put it. But I'm all about that, man. I'm all about trying to share myself, trying to laugh. I mean, I must, I'll must. probably start telling y'all some stories about myself and things like that later. Y'all get to know me. Like one thing I, you might not know, I was a pharmacist. The street kind. Yeah, I like to laugh and stuff, but I have a background, you know. Philly represent, but still you know that's not what it's about I try to be a better and more morale you know higher morale person for everybody i meet but all right man that's it i'll talk to you guys later i, I can't stop eating this stuff so i'll catch you guys in the next video hopefully i upload two of these today all right man